OK, so when looking at x squared minus x plus 1, if I want to solve this by quadratic formula, just like you guys have your own problem to look at, when you're going to be solving this by quadratic formula, absolutely the first amazing thing that we have to do, again, is it never gets old. ax squared plus bx plus c. Label your a, b, and c. Every single time, let's just label a, b, and c. In this case, we have a equals 1, b equals negative 1, and c equals 1. All right? Then we now need to write out the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is going to be x equals opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Now, sometimes you can just plug in all the answers in there if you'd like to. But a lot of times, ladies and gentlemen, I like to just find what the discriminant is. So the discriminant, member is b squared minus 4 times a times c. And I like to find the discriminant separately because then I can describe what the solutions are. Right? Rather, before I even get to the quadratic formula, if I know what the discriminant is, then what I can do is I can figure out what the rest of what my answers are going to look like. All right. So when looking at this, I have b squared minus 4 times a times c. I plug in my b, which is negative 1, squared minus 4 times 1 times 1. So I get 1 minus 4, which is going to give me a negative 3. All right? So now let's plug it in. So I have x equals opposite of b, which is 1, plus or minus the square root of negative 3 divided by 2 times 1. All right? Now remember, when we have a square root of a negative number, we can't take the square root of a negative number, right? That's why, we, that's why we started using the complex number system. So instead of taking the square root of negative 3, I'm going to rewrite this as x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 3 i. So I'll take the square root of negative 1 out and leave it as i, all divided by 2. And what you guys notice is because my discriminant is negative, I know my final answer is going to be two complex roots. I'm going to have a complex root, and I'm going to have plus or minus, so I'll have two of them. So that's how you'd solve this by using the quadratic formula. Yes? You're not going to have an opposite of zero. So you just put zero. 